What's up guys, Brad here with Shiny Tech Things, where we take things seriously. And on today's show, we're going to be unboxing the HK Gaming GK61 keyboard. So let's check this out. The GK61 is a standard sized 60% size keyboard featuring RGB backlighting, USB-C wired connectivity, and optical switches. Now the USB-C cable is detachable for convenience of portability as well. Now optical switches are much more durable than conventional mechanical keyboard switches and are rated for over 100 million keystrokes. Now chances are you'll probably go ahead and wear out the actual like plastic keys themselves before you actually were to ever hit the 100 million keystrokes. Now they have a high actuation point of 1.5 millimeters for fast response. It's very light strike optical switches to utilize horizontal infrared beam which is transmitted across the width of the inner key switch. Now since it does have a optical mechanism, a optical switch has an extremely fast response time of 0.2 milliseconds, which means faster reactions for those times when timing is critical, such as with gaming, or if you're shooting for a high score on Mavis Beacon Teaches Typing. So what kind of keyboard do you have currently? Go ahead and drop it in the comment section below. Now, one thing that is a bit different about this keyboard in comparison to most others is that this actually has a 32-bit M3 Master MCUN as well as a 8 meg flash of storage that's built into the keyboard itself. We're talking 8 megabytes right into an actual keyboard. Like, that's pretty crazy. So let's crack it open. So here is the keyboard. It has a USB-C to USB-A cable and a tool for removing the keys and a quick start guide. So let's go ahead and plug this in. You can see right here is the USB-C port. Plug that in. It was kind of nice. And now I got it plugged in and we'll see how this types. So it's definitely a lot quieter than my mechanical one that I have down below. Tell me what you think down in the comment section below. Do you like this keyboard? Is this something that you were looking at buying? Now, who is this keyboard for? All right, so this thing is uh, $84.99 regular price. And on sale right now, it's like uh, 79 bucks. Has a pretty good solid build quality. And another great thing is that because it's USB-C, you can just get a longer USB-C cable and uh, use that for your cable if you need to, instead of getting a USB extension cable. Now, who this might be for is, uh, again, if you're into gaming like my son is, uh, he actually bought this keyboard here. Because of the response times, then in theory, this keyboard will outperform a standard mechanical keyboard. To be able to unlock the features of this keyboard, you're gonna go ahead and wanna download the software directly from the website. So coming over to hk-gaming.com, and then go ahead and click on downloads right up here and then you'll see the uh, keyboard you'll have to turn your keyboard over and look to see what the serial number starts with mine here starts with gk61 so we'll go ahead and download this and there's also some firmware to download as well too i'm not sure if the utility will give us the firmware version of the keyboard or not but let's just go ahead and install it all right cool so it detects old firmware so we just go ahead and hit okay and of course do not unplug it while it's updating the firmware. Otherwise you will seriously hose this thing up. And that's to go with any electronics that you're updating firmware on. All right, so the keyboard like turned off. All right, so it is not working yet, which means it is probably still updating the firmware. So now we just hurry up and wait. All right, so this kind of sucks. I don't know if I broke the keyboard or not, I did not unplug it. Um, I waited, it seems like about 10 minutes. Let's see here. Yeah, over 10 minutes now, 11 minutes. And the keyboard still has not responded yet. I came across a Reddit post that apparently this update will brick a lot of these keyboards. I don't know why they're pushing it, if it causes a problem, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this probably another 10-15 minutes before unplugging it and replugging it and see if it works. 
All right, I have not unplugged and replugged it yet. And I did some more reading up on Reddit and it turns out somebody thought that they bricked theirs as well. So they went ahead and downloaded the firmware directly from here. And then I went ahead and extracted out the firmware using 7-zip out of that RAR file. And then they said they just went ahead and ran bootloader.exe. I'm gonna right click on this, run it as administrator. And I'm gonna hit start update. We'll see if this will start to bring it back. I'm gonna bring it back to life. Update successful, all right. Lesson learned, don't unplug the keyboard uh, while doing the firmware update, of course, as it says, and also do the update directly from using the firmware update utility. So let's see if it shows up. All right, there we go. Cool. So right now it is on Vortex. I'm not seeing, oh, maybe I gotta hit save. All right, so that's surfing right. Maybe we'll do breath. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Here's glowing fish. Here's Ripple. That's cool. So it's like as you type it, it ripples off the key. <laughs> That's cool. Always lighting. This looks like that's just a solid color. Ah, oh, there we go, that's nice. Perfect. Let's do Snake Marquee Middle. Here is heart shaped. That's kind of cool. Colorful fountain. Here is traffic. Here's gluttonous snake. Here is wild dance. Here is surfing cross. Here is spectrum. And finally, random fountain. So here we can go into the key assignment and assign keys. So it looks like you can build a macro. All right, so I'm gonna come over to macro and I'll start recording. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and come on over to macro here, right click on the macro list and do new macro. Let's right, we'll call this macro one. And now I'm going to just hit a bunch of stuff there, hit stop and cycle it this, you know, just one time is fine and hit save. So if we go ahead and let's say click on number four here. So I'll do uh, shift, you go control shift and the number four and select that macro, hit okay. Now I'm coming here, shift, control four. And it typed all that, wow. So let's see what this does here. And it typed all that. Perfect. All right, so that is kind of the basics of this keyboard. I'm glad I didn't brick it. I did tell my son about it and he wasn't so uh, happy about it, thinking that it would just work without the drivers. But I had explained to him that if it did get bricked, we would have to send it back to Amazon for a replacement. So now that you know about this keyboard, are you planning on buying one? Let me know in the comment section down below or tell me what keyboard that you currently have or that you're looking at buying that you want more than this keyboard and I'll catch you in the next one.